Hey there, it's Hunter in the WVUA 23 Weather Center. Just wanted to do a quick blog post, give you an update on the forecast, what we're looking at right now. So we've been watching these showers and storms well off to our west in uh, Mississippi throughout the day today. But most of this has been off to our west. We've not seen that much activity here in central Alabama. But that's not to say that there have been no showers or storms here closer to home. Because right now we're watching this one little cell in northern Jefferson County. It looks like it's just to the east of Gardendale right now. Stretching up towards Warrior. Also another little cell up there in Blunt County towards Aniana. So there are a few downpours out there. And here's a neat little tool. We can see how tall these showers and thunderstorms stretch up into the atmosphere. So this one up over 30,000 feet, so that's a healthy little summertime shower developing there in northern Jefferson County. Here's the live view out over Tuscaloosa right now, though. 88 degrees, the current temperature. We're coming down off of a high of 93 here in Tuscaloosa, so a scorcher of an afternoon, but the temperature now starting to drop. Temperatures elsewhere across central Alabama, 89 for Birmingham, 89 in Anniston right now, also 89 in Gadsden, 75 down in the 70s for Haleyville. Coleman, you're sitting at 82 degrees at the time of this update. But here's a bigger picture. I want to show you this. Look at all the moisture down across parts of Louisiana, Mississippi, Arkansas. That will be moving closer to home as we head towards tomorrow, and that will mean increased rain chances. It also mean we'll get a little bit in the way of a break from the heat. We'll be down in the mid-80s for highs on both Saturday and Sunday. But we're also keeping a close eye on the tropics right now. There's an area of possible development down in the Caribbean, and we'll, we'll keep an eye on this over the next couple of days. But here's a rough little estimate of a possible time frame for this uh, development. By Tuesday, Tuesday night, could be looking at uh, some tropical mischief going on down there along the Florida Gulf Coast. So no direct threat here in Alabama, but maybe you have some friends down that way, or maybe you're planning a vacation over the next couple of days. Just something to keep an eye on, and we'll keep you up to date with all the latest here in the WVUA 23 Weather Center. But here's future cast, and we'll head towards this evening. Here's 1.30 a.m. You can see still some spotty showers out there, especially over northern Alabama, but I think for the most part, uh, areas are going to stay dry through the rest of this evening. But that will change as we head towards tomorrow. Here's noon. You can see some showers and thunderstorms starting to push through, especially throughout the uh, early part of the day. And here's noon, uh, a good coverage of showers and storms, especially over eastern Alabama, and some more development possible later on in the afternoon after it looks like a, maybe that first line kind of pushes through there. So we will see a pretty good coverage of showers and thunderstorms for tomorrow. And then as we push towards Sunday, we'll do it all over again. Another a round of some showers and thunderstorms for Sunday. Again, highs both days will be in the mid-80s, so we do get a little bit of a break from the heat. Your forecast for tonight will drop down to around 71 degrees for your overnight low, mostly cloudy. Could be a few stray showers or storms out there. Most of that activity west of Interstate 65 as we head late overnight, but we will keep an eye on the radar for you, and we'll keep you updated with all the latest Here's your forecast for tomorrow. 86 degrees for a high. Again, we'll drop down into the middle 80s. Showers and thunderstorms are likely as we're expecting a pretty good coverage of showers and storms. And your WVOA 23 extended forecast looks like this. A wet weekend ahead, but notice as we head towards Monday, Tuesday, and through the end of the next work week, we are noticeably drier, but also noticeably warmer. 89 for a high on Monday, Tuesday. We're up near 90, and temperatures holding strong during the afternoon near 90 as we head through Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday of next week. So that's a quick update. Just wanted to let you know what we're watching here in the Weather Center. If you can, join me on TV. I'll be going live at 10 o'clock on WVOA 23 News. I'll see you then.